Welcome to Mr. Tech Shop. Today we're checking out Sony's new DualSense Edge controller, which is Sony's take on a pro controller for the PS5. In the case, you receive paddle buttons and rounded buttons for the rear of the controller. You also get two sets of rounded thumbsticks, a shorter set and a longer set for finer analog controls. In addition to the USB-A to USB-C cable, you also receive a locking mechanism for the USB-C side of the controller to make sure you don't disconnect while gaming. The case itself is a great hard shell plastic material, with a flap on the rear which allows you to charge the controller while keeping it protected. The controller itself includes a ton of customizability. The rear L2 and R2 triggers have three stops of adjustability, which is great for transitioning from story style games over to first person shooters. There's also two function buttons on board, one of which allows you to adjust volume, with the second one allowing you to adjust controller profiles, more on that in just a second. The analog or thumbsticks easily pop off, allowing you to switch over to shorter or longer sticks. The controller also has a switch on the rear, which gives you access to the control sticks, which are replaceable in the case of issues like stick drift. These analog sticks unfortunately don't use Hall Effect sensors, which would have been something great to see at this price point. Hall Effect sensors tend to be more reliable, accurate, and precise, and are generally found more commonly in high-end hardware. Now a little bit more about those controller profiles. The controller allows you to create four quick access profiles, all of which can easily be accessed and customized via the right function button and the options button. The profiles allow you to remap almost every single button on the controller, and they can easily be accessed by pressing the right function button paired with the assigned button for that profile. It is worth noting that the function button can't be reassigned. Within the profile configuration, you can adjust stick sensitivity in dead zones, trigger dead zones, the intensity of the vibrations, as well as trigger effect intensity. With all of that said, the most important question is how does the controller feel? In hand, the controller feels great. It's very ergonomic with the back buttons falling into a very natural resting position. If you haven't used a pro tier controller before, getting used to the back buttons definitely takes some getting used to. The adjustable triggers felt like a huge advantage in-game, with the USB-C locking mechanism being a great insurance while in-game as well. Profile switching was also very efficient and easy to use while in-game. For the average gamer, this controller might not be worth it, just because you can get three of the standard DualSense controllers for the same cost as this controller. For the avid or pro gamer, I can see this controller being worth it just for the customizability alone. Let us know if you have any thoughts or opinions on this controller in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and visit our website at mrtechshop.com.